Although the Calcutta Tramways Company did remain British-owned for many years following independence, it was managed by the state of West Bengal after August 1967. Now the state-owned CTC operates India's last surviving tramway. The Calcutta story begins with a short-lived meter-gauge horse line opened in 1873. This was followed by a larger network of lines, probably built to the 4 foot 8.5 inch gauge. These were opened progressively by the Calcutta Tramways Company between 1880 and 1884. At times, steam trams were also used. Electric trams first appeared in 1902, and for the next 30 years a variety of two-axle, first-class single-decker motor cars were built, together with matching second-class trailers. Starting in 1948 and continuing well into the 60s, many were rebuilt and permanently coupled together. Known as streamlined trains or utility cars, M-Class numbers 1 to 179 were of special interest to visiting British enthusiasts, as some had trucks acquired from systems such as Leeds, Leicester, Oldham and Stockport. Eventually their collection of inherited motors would be replaced by imports from Hungary. These M's feature prominently in the following film sequences, taken between 1960 and 1978 by Messrs Cunningham, Healy, Matthews, Santarelli and Todd. The CTC never operated double-deckers and only a handful of conventional bogey cars. These were J-Class numbers 301 to 306, built by English Electric in 1931 on maximum traction bogies. Somewhat rebuilt, this view shows one later in life, coupled to a four-wheel trailer. English Electric also provided the first three examples of the much more successful K-Class. Like the J's, 307 to 309 were delivered in 1931. Referred to by the CTC as the articulated or English cars, a further 180 K's, numbers 310 to 489, were built locally between 1932 and 1939. Conceived and first tested in England, each end has a powered maximum traction truck with an unpowered equal wheel truck under the articulation. All the trucks, motors and controllers coming from English Electric. Like the J-Class, they were fitted with air brakes, as were all subsequent new cars. The Ks had two entirely separate body sections each with its own drop centre entrance, there being no physical connection between the first and second class saloons. The official overall capacity of about 120 was often exceeded. During the early 60s, when these sequences were filmed, most Ks still looked relatively smart in their grey and cream, a colour scheme which had displaced the original chocolate and cream with delivery of the Js and Ks in 1931.
After the Ks came the Streamline L-Class Articulateds, 490 to 559, built between 1942 and 1951. When first delivered, these cars supported a top-heavy cowling on the roof of the first-class saloon, which had concealed the resistances. As on these post-war Ls, this cowling was later reduced in size. Like the Ks, each car carried a crew of three, supplemented in P cars on the busiest sections by extra conductors, known as line conductors. Although all their equipment was from English Electric, the Ls differed from the earlier Ks in riding on three equal wheel trucks. During the 50s, several Ks had been rebuilt with lengthened bodies and slightly different rear ends to the Ls. In this view, the rebuilt K is on the left. This shows the more rounded front end. Nonapuka Works handled everything from building new bodies to keeping older veterans on the road. When the state took over the company in 1967, it had envisaged phasing out the trams by the early 70s. But oil prices, pollution and a change of heart by planners led to the decision to retain the system. Using some of the second-hand equipment purchased from Bombay, 201 to 206 entered service in the mid-60s. These were experimental, first-class PAYE cars. Several older vehicles were also adapted for PAYE and painted in this striking cream and blue livery. However, the PAYE concept proved impractical and was dropped about 1970. There was no doubt the trams played a major part in moving Calcutta's millions. For example, in 1959 there were some 26 services operating from eight depots over the 42-mile system, and they carried a staggering 400 million passengers. Prior to the introduction of route numbers in 1958, coloured symbols and lights had been used. <laughs> 